Hello there. Thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to talk about the ADM iteration. Remember that nice diagram that depicts the architecture development method, right? Well, this is what it looks like, but it just so happens that it's no one ever goes through that cycle in a single swoop. It kind of looks more like this. The ADM is applied iteratively. There are four main iterations across nine phases. The architecture context iteration, architecture delivery iteration, the transition planning iteration, and the architecture governance iteration. The architecture context iteration. Here we iterate between the preliminary phase and phase A. We refine the approach to our architecture development, the principles, the scope, vision, and all those preliminary activities that border between the preliminary phase and phase A, the architecture vision phase. The architecture definition iteration. Here we iterate between phases B, C, and D. Phase B, the business architecture. Phase C, information and data architecture. Phase D, the technology architecture. We iterate till we arrive at a near perfect architecture definition document. The transition planning iteration. Here we iterate between opportunities and solutions and migration planning, phase E and F. We try to rationalize and realize the solutions that will help us actualize our design. The architecture governance iteration. As we go into the live environment, we begin to fine tune the governance and change management processes that are necessary to go live in phase G and H. The nature of an organization determines the extent to which iteration is used in the ADM. How formal are the established process checkpoints? To what extent are stakeholders involved in the process? The more formality we have in the checkpoint, the more likely we need to formally iterate. The more stakeholders we have, the more teams we have, the more likely we, are, we need to iterate. We also need to ask how mature is the solution area. If we're doing something new to us, we may need to iterate more than otherwise before we arrive at a stable solution. We also need to ask what is the organization's attitude to risk, the key point in all this is that the ADM is in fact iterative. We can iterate across the entire cycle, do it over and over again to arrive at perfection. We can iterate across multiple phases like we've seen in the formally defined four iterations. We can also decide to revert to previous phases and update information depending on where we are in the design process. For example, we could go back from E to B when we find that the technologies we have at our disposal cannot meet the needs of the design. We can also uh, iterate as separate teams across the full life cycle concurrently and then, you know, sync our findings at the end of the day. I hope this has been useful. Feel free to share with your colleagues. Thank you.